Hello everyone and welcome on into another freaking episode here on Ark Survival Ascended. So we're back on the center. It's been a while. And we have our little boats in the background. I actually don't remember if I shared this little thing off. But yeah, I built my own boats a while ago now. We've been mostly playing on Aberration. So there's that, but yeah, it has like cannon storage for cannonballs. Uh, I tried to make sails. It did not come out too great, but yeah, some storage. It's pretty nifty. But today we're not actually going to go out on that thing. We're going to go out on a different boat. Um, so last night the Archelont dropped into Ark. I don't know if it spawns on the center, but... We do have kibble and we have a saddle and I also made up some um, scuba just in case we need it. Because I'm not sure. We are going to go out on this thing. Yeah. So, um, Astraeus is out with like a free map and free uh, mod you can add. So when the full release comes out, I kind of want to check that out. I don't want to do it too early though, I don't know when that's going to be, so I'm j I was just like, you know what, we're just going to take the boat out then. We don't have anything on the boat, but you can like build on it and stuff, which is cool. We, oh god, we actually went, okay, the textures seem kind of screwed right now. Okay, well, we can just jump up. We went with the, um... See if I change it. No? I like the red. We went with the... Poseidon, I think it was, right? Wait, can I? Oh, no, I think we went with the octopus. Okay, we went with the octopus. <laughs> can I just... Hop on? Oh my god, maybe not like that. But yeah, basically these guys spawn, uh, the Archelon spawn near beaches. Wait a minute. Oh, that's just a normal turtle. Okay, near beaches and in the water. So, we're gonna just have a little sail around. So I haven't done a dino wipe yet, so... I don't know if they're just going to be spawning in. But yeah, we're just going to set sails. Oh my god. To the sea. God, the ship is big. I can't even get it into game mode. <laughs> okay. Actually, our that bridge might be slightly through. But that's okay. You can always go around. Yeah, we're just gonna have a little sail. It's been a while since we've seen the sun, actually. It's good to be get out of that cave. <laughs> yeah, just have a little sail around. I don't know if they make, like, specific sounds or anything, but I was really happy when I heard the announcement that it actually came out. So I wanna check it out. It's actually one of the few creatures I did not time up on. Um, on ASE with the mods like I kind of skipped over the the, the turtle <laughs> so yeah and the reason we're taking this big boat out is apparently Leetictus can't destroy it which is freaking awesome so we can literally just explore Without worrying, like la I remember once we came around here and the freaking lead sectors just tried to wreck us. <laughs> Let's see, have a little sail. Huh. That's a rock. <laughs> It's very possible that I'm just gonna see them everywhere when they are not really there. <laughs> <clears throat> Do kind of want to check near beaches because I just feel like that would be the safest spot. Oh, 
but the game mode doesn't work. Okay. I kinda wanna toggle into photo mode and just take a picture of this, but if you do that, you kinda break the bullet mode I have installed. So yeah, we're just gonna choose fog in the distance. I kinda like this. I feel like I'm on some kind of Viking type ship. <laughs> Even though it's obviously like more like I don't know if y'all played a what Age of Mythology I think it's called but yeah it looks like the little boats the guys got up on the shore from okay it's like empty here right now I wonder would we see them like surface I don't know. I might need to go into the water to check, which I don't really want to do. Mostly just because, you know, sharks and all of the other bad things. Okay. Nothing. I don't even know if they do spawn on this map. They should. But if we're unlucky, we might need to go to the island and... like a dolphin way back there okay well I guess I'll bring y'all back once we actually find one then otherwise this might just be me freaking sailing around but yeah we do have our Zephactinus with us in case we actually need it so yeah but I guess I'll see you guys in a bit Hey guys, so we finally found one. We've been scurrying around, checking out beaches. I even took my power mine and just ran around. We used the ship more, went into deeper water, couldn't find a single friggin' thing. But here we go, we found our first one. Right there. <laughs> Actually pretty close to our old base area. Interesting. Huh. And our base is like right there. Okay, cool. Well, we've gone around a bunch for nothing then. This is a level, only a level 85. But yeah, that doesn't matter. So, we're going to see flippers. We're going to see scuba. Let's start taming this thing. So we are going to use um, extraordinary kibble to tame this one. But I think you can use superior kibble too. This is a passive tank. One. Of course. <laughs> one friggin' kibble. We are on 2.5 times taming right. I f oh, there we go. The dossier. I feel like I need to mention that every time we do one of these videos. Okay, you chill. I'm actually gonna take off my scuba. Because we did bring a saddle for the suit, and apparently they can supply oxygen. Yeah! Yeah, look at that. That looks so cool. We'll go check that out in land in just a minute. They actually don't feel as slow as I thought they would. I love the little flap, man. <laughs> look at it. Look at his dude. Uh, uh. Oh that's a really interesting saddle, so you can have multiple people on there, I'm guessing. Yeah. You just kind of hang on for dear life, it seems. Hey, well. This is, I think this thing might help out for like deep sea exploration. Okay, so when you press space bar, you tell it to go up and it kind of surfaces, so you can't just look down, so you have to press C again. Which is interesting. So this thing only has one attack, which is the bite attack. Apparently it um, is immune to jellyfish stuns and it gathers a lot of biotoxin, which is fantastic. Because, you know, we don't have many jellyfish. 
on this map and I actually left some biotoxin in my effect in this before we uh it's fine. It's fine. Keep in mind this is only a level 85. So I would recommend bringing a scuba mask. I see shiny. Oh god, I don't want to fuck with the effect in this right now. Try and get past them if we can. I mean, this thing actually has pretty good stamina, it seems. We'll check out the stats once we get back to base. Just kind of want to munch on some jellies. Oh my! Yeah, that's a lot of damage to jellyfish. So these are actually really good for biotoxin harvesting. Uh, which on most maps you can use for instead of um, trunk darts which actually works better because it does less damage and it I think it actually deals more to it. Oh my returning radius on this dude sucks. Oh but it actually doesn't do bad damage. 200 it's actually pretty good dude. and they do have armor thanks to their shell. Nice. Mm, kind of pump. So we got, wow, 7,000 health. That's actually really good. Pretty good stamina. We don't care about food. 11 kgs. Weight is not bad at all. And melee is actually really good. I think we got lucky and got an extremely good one. What the fuck? Okay, okay, I'll take that. <laughs> it actually doesn't deal bad damage. It's pretty fast. It's not like it's a fact in this fast, but it's pretty fast in the water. I think they used to be a lot slower than this. It leveled up again. A melee screw. So this thing can actually be used underwater for fighting then. Because I think they do get damage reduction. Just kind of bad that it's nighttime now, late. Like, 4am so it should get sunny soon so I think I might just take this dude out oh my god it's slow like this is walking and this is sprinting on land this is extremely freaking slow so a cool little feature about these guys is they actually produce algae oh two hours until fully but they pass, I think they're passively producive. I don't think you need to add anything for them to actually produce algae. Okay. But yeah, I think we'll just wait until there's a little bit more sun out in the air, you know? Well, there we go. It's like 5.53 now. Now we can actually have a better look at this dude. It's... I actually kind of like the white and yellow bits on it. Huh. One algae collectible after all that time. Okay. Oh, the eyes though. Oh, they look cool. They look kind of realistic. I love them. Yeah, now we can have a better look at this, like... Move! Move! And then... Oh! Run! Are we... Yeah. I don't really see a difference between the movement speed. <laughs> to give you more health, why not? Okay. Oh. Let's just take this... Yeah, so basically it only has this attack. But the main reason, even though you can technically fight with these guys, the main reason you want one of these is because of the fact that they do produce that algae that kind of grows on their back shell. I know if you kind of need to take off the... 
saddle to see it. The saddle looks super cool, though, I have to say. I really love the saddle. Ah, oh, there we go. God, that took forever. Yeah, let's make our way back up. Oh, do you eat this? It seems like it eats biotoxin. That's interesting. Okay. Let's see, food. It does go up with fish too, at least. So maybe don't keep the biotoxin in its inventory if you are planning on, you know. But I really love the fact that you can, like, swim underwater without needing scuba. I mean, once again, I would suggest just bringing this, just so you can actually see. And this is only a little, well, 85, keep that in mind. So I'm guessing I'm almost, oh, max level would be better. That's a 140. Yeah, turn around. I actually don't want to kill the 140. Just get away. He's still following? Kinda. God, this thing is cool. It has so much stam as well. Now, I kind of want to use this guy just to explore deeper parts of the ocean, you know? It's a bass, hello. Okay, cool. Just grab this chicken. I'm actually kind of wanna... Yep! No stun. That's friggin' awesome, dude. <laughs> oh, this thing is gonna be so useful. I don't know what, um... Creature you guys want... Oh, there's more. Why is there so much many genies all of a sudden? I'll take the bite of But yeah, guys, we have ourselves a freaking toy toy. So, if I can just. Yeah, I'm just gonna pop onto land right here. Even though it's at the back. Come on. Come on. Come on. Just get our clothes back on. There we go. Yeah, there. Let you just chill here. Yeah, you have access to food. I'm actually. Oh my god, that's so much biotoxin. Holy shit! I might. Okay, but the thing with um the tr tranks you use biotoxin for um they kind of disappear they decay after a while so you might want to just put this away for a bit and then use it once you actually are sure you're gonna to go tame something or whatever but yeah that's the archelot so i'm just gonna grab that one cup i don't know how much we actually need <clears throat> where would we even make the Hmm. That's a pretty good question. Where do we make the sushi? Do we just put it in here? No. Huh. Cooking pot? Ah, oh, there we go. Sushi. So you do need... Oh, you need 20 algae. God damn. Mm. God damn it. So we might not be able to show this off in this episode because I think it's gonna be a long time before we can actually get enough. Up. Yeah, let's just put all of this stuff away. But yeah, basically you use the um, sushi. If you're like screwed up at time you were busy working on, you can just um, pop in an algae, make it eat that, and it would boost the um, timing effectiveness again. Can't remember if it's like 25%, but yeah, it does help quite a lot. How long does it take to grow one algae then? Jeez, it's slow as fuck. 
gonna take like one and a half hours to fully. I'm guessing it has like 20. But yeah, let's see. Can I? Oh my, that looks really pretty. Oh my word. There's no algae on it right now, so I don't think. Hmm. Yeah, we won't be able to see anything. Okay, so I might just wait a little bit. Then once it starts having algae, I might show it off. <laughs> but yeah. <sighs> I don't know how long it's been, but you can kind of see the algae a little bit, like the shell's starting to get a little bit green. Yeah, like right there, you can see it better. So let's go like, yep, and goodbye green. So I'm guessing it grows a lot more, but you do kind of need to take off the saddle to be able to see it, which does suck. But you know, it is what it is. But we have 2 out of 20 algae now, so that's some... Um, and the thing with these guys, if you're not going to use them to fight a lot or anything, you can just... You don't even need the saddle then. You can just leave it on, like, right there and let it produce algae while it's be. It has giant slaying on it! I'm not going to use you for boss fights. God damn it. But yeah, guys. We finally have ourselves one of these little dudes. Let me just pop right next to its head. No! Oh my god, that has happened so many times to me. God damn it, man. I hate it when that happens. When I pre I should really unbind that key, because Jesus Christ. Now everything's all scattered again. Oh. God, I hate it when that happens. Like, I press J sometimes by accident and then everything in the vicinity just tries to follow me. I can't even move. Tammy, god damn it. I guess I can do this. <laughs> Where is your little friend? I tried to go into K mode, but yeah. Press the wrong freaking button. Ah, of course I did. Everything's scattered all over the goddamn place. Oh no, this is bad. I had my spiders all grouped up to get- ah, god damn it. But whatever, it happens, you know. Hey, you just gotta control there. I think that one was our first one. Okay, but anyways guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, please do leave me a like. Maybe consider subscribing, it is free after all. I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.